We start with that news breaking uh, in the last hour or so. Ukraine says it has attacked and destroyed a Russian patrol ship with naval drones in the Black Sea. Ukrainian military intelligence says the vessel, the Sergei Kotov, was hit near the Kirsch Bridge, connecting Russia with occupied Crimea. This video was posted on social media and it appears to show the moment of explosion. A Ukrainian military intelligence spokesman says the ship has definitely been destroyed. Russian officials have yet to comment. Well, let's go live now to Kyiv and our correspondent Abdu Jalil Abdu Rasulov. Uh, just take us through what we know then. We've seen the video. Um, just explain what we think it shows. Well, uh, according to Ukraine's military intelligence agency, uh, uh, the, uh, the drones managed to successfully hit and destroy the Russian uh, ship uh, Sergei Kotov. It's a, it's a corvette, and uh, allegedly there were five drones used in the attack, and the battle lasted for about 40 minutes. Uh, and what is interesting is that uh, Ukrainian drones tried to attack this very same ship in the past twice. And the third attempt seems to be uh, successful. And uh, even though we still haven't heard any comments from Russian officials, uh, Russian military bloggers admit that that ship, Sergei Kotov, uh, has been lost. And it is quite important because it just shows you this trend that Russia is failing to uh, have a dominance in the Black Sea. And despite the fact that Ukraine's fleet is no match to Russia's, they still manage to hit and destroy a number of Russian vessels. Uh, and they have uh, had a, a number of successful attacks in the past. And, and therefore, that, uh, the, Russia is unable to launch airstrikes, for example, from the Black Sea or, or, or launch any attacks, uh, amphibious attacks. So that's why this uh, attack, uh, this incident is quite important. Uh, and just uh, tell us how it's being reported in Ukraine. Clearly, it's the, the, the Ukraine uh, military service that's released this, these images that we're watching now. Well, uh, the, the, yes, um, these images were also um, discussed by our colleagues from BBC Verify, and the, the outlines of the ship uh, appears to match the same class, the same type of those vessels, the Corvette, uh, 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 like um, Sergei Kotov. And therefore, uh, we believe that uh, it, uh, that video appears to show the very same uh, ship that uh, is claimed to be destroyed. And uh, the attack happened at night, and uh, those drones that are operated by uh, the Ukrainian military uh, intelligence agency, uh, they have the night visions, and therefore uh, they are able to launch these attacks at night. And when a Russian um, military uh, are not expecting major attacks. OK, Abdullah, we'll leave it there for the moment. Uh, but interesting, you were talking about the fact that BBC Verify uh, has been looking at those uh, images as well. Let's speak to Alexander Lord, an expert on the Russian Navy and uh, at the risk analysis advisory company uh, Sibylline. Um, thank you for joining us and talking to us. This news obviously just breaking in the last hour or so. Um, what's your assessment as to how significant uh, this strike is from the Ukrainian perspective? Absolutely. So this is just the latest in um, a very successful, it has to be said, um, Ukrainian maritime counteroffensive um, that we've seen over the last six months. Obviously, the 2023 counteroffensive on land failed to achieve major strategic or operational objectives. Quite the opposite is being un is, uh, is unfolding at sea, where the Ukrainians have distinctly inflicted significant damage onto the, the Russian Black Sea fleet. Um, if this is confirmed, this would uh, this 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 latest attack um, would would mean that the Black Sea fleet has lost around a quarter of its surface fleet. That is a significant proportion of Russia's uh, maritime capabilities in the Black Sea region, which will have not only an impact on Ukraine's ability to continue exporting um, grain via the Odessan ports through the Western Black Sea and pushing back 
Russia's uh, mar uh, maritime and naval blockade. But of course, it will also have an impact on Russia's ability to utilize these warships to fire long range cruise missiles at Ukrainian targets, which has been the case throughout this war. And a social, uh, there's video uh, been posted on social media of uh, this attack. And uh, we understand uh, it's been carried out by naval drones. Now, we think more about drones in the sky, but I think sea drones have become uh, increasingly used. Um, how significant uh, are they? Is this a new development in the war? Absolutely. So this is an area of innovation which the Ukrainians are really spearheading. And then they put a lot of resources um, into developing this new form of maritime capability. Now, naval drones aren't necessarily new to this war, but what we are seeing is the operational um, development at pace of this new technology. Um, the Ukrainians are operating numerous types of unmanned, uncrewed maritime drones um, and have they have been utilized to great effect um, throughout this war. This is an area where the Ukrainians will continue to innovate as well. And of course, this is putting a significant strain on Russia's maritime defenses. Um, these surface vessels are incredibly vulnerable to these sorts of attacks. Um, and I think it's particularly notable that the um, Sergei Kotov was attacked near the Kerch Strait, um, which of course is east is in east of um, east of Crimea. Um, so while the, the the success of the Ukrainian maritime campaign has forced the surface Russian surface fleet to um, move ever eastwards, this latest attack is just the latest indication that the Ukrainians are innovating longer range maritime drones, and essentially they can reach the Russian surface fleet wherever they are in the Black Sea. Um, so this is something that the Ukrainians will continue to develop. And as the Ukrainians are on the back foot on land, I think it's, it's clear that this latest um, attack indicates that the Russians are on the back foot at sea. Yeah, just take us through, because obviously we know how important Russia's Black Sea fleet is. Just take us through the damage that Ukraine has managed to inflict. Absolutely. So um, the Ukrainians over the last six months have claimed many uh, and we've confirmed uh, many uh, losses for the surface fleet in particular. And um, we have corvettes, um, patrol um, ships, as this latest attack was, and also, I think, crucially, landing vessels, landing craft. Um, now, in, in the early phases of the invasion, numerous um, Black Sea Fleet surface vessels, including landing craft, were um, manoeuvring ominously off the coast of Odessa, threatening a naval invasion. Um, obviously, since then, the Russians are on the back foot at sea. They have lost a significant proportion of their amphibious landing capability to such an extent that essentially this is no longer a threat to the Western Ukrainian uh, coast. The Russians have made it pretty clear in their rhetoric, in official um, uh, declarations, that they want Odessa, they, they consider Odessa a Russian city, um, but the threat from the sea is significantly less now than it was in early 2022. Alex, uh, Alexander Lord, uh, we will have to leave it there for the moment, but thank you for your, uh, your insight um, there.